Hello, random people on the internet. My name is Banana, and there has been a lot of outrage over the new Bizarre update that came to Hypixel Skyblock yesterday, purely because of the new NPC limit. If you didn't see my video yesterday, they basically added a limit to the amount that you can buy from an NPC, and I mean, it's a pretty tight limit. It's only 640 of each item per day, and that is a pretty insane low amount because it's just like these things used to be bought like all the time hot potato books sugar cane cobblestone wood all of these are now pretty much obsolete when it comes to buying them from the merchant and everyone's pretty heated the only merchant that is not capped is the builder merchant which is pretty nice or at least some of these blocks i believe are not capped i think like ice might still be capped like, yep, ice is only 640 per, and it's really annoying. It's really annoying for crafting, and people are freaking out. But I'm here to tell you today, with a controversial opinion, that this is actually good for the Skywalk economy. And, I mean, you may be wondering, how in the hell is this good for the Skywalk economy? Well, guys, I'm basically going to tell you a couple reasons why. This update is a bit weird. It is something that you're gonna have to get used to and it will raise prices for the majority of the items but overall it's gonna help create money for everyone and i mean it's just gonna be an overall nice update just to like grind more because what you can do now that the like every material has a basically set value and that a fluctuating value at that where it's just like it goes up, goes down. You can sell for much higher than merchant prices were. So let's say that you're selling enchanted spruce like or any enchanted wood. These used to be really cheap on the merchants and you would just hire someone to click for you and they would just buy it real quick. But you can see that enchanted spruce wood sells for 4,700 coins per. 4,700 coins. That is insane because for a stack, that means you're paying almost 300k, over 300k if you are buying it. And you're thinking, oh man, that is so expensive. But the thing is, now that the like wood is profitable, you can run wood minions. You can run pretty much any minion in this update compared to back in the day like mini coon talked about this in the post everyone was running clay minions because clay was the like it's the most profitable but now with these changes pretty much anything can be profitable to an extent and everything's like bouncing out in prices and some things are going a little lower like lily pads are a bit lower than i think they were on ah and what is way up Pretty much every material is up. Like, you can see a stack of cobblestone is up like 10,000 coins from what it used to be. Everything that you grind has went up in price. So you may be thinking, oh, I can't buy stuff anymore, though. I have no money in general. Well, the thing about buying stuff is it created a problem. Every single thing that you bought was basically just made from the void. Like, you would buy oak, you'd buy spruce, you'd buy some of these... And rather than it coming from another player, it was just adding more items to the market. And if you can buy these and flip these, that's literally free money for stuff that didn't even exist in the game. Now, you have people who are grinding potatoes, who are grinding the wood, who are grinding emeralds just to sell to people. And every single price will go up for selling. So while the buying price may be up for literally everything the selling price will also be up for everything so everyone can diversify a bit you can focus on specific skills with minions now rather than just getting fishing from clay and i mean stonks are still something that you can buy and sell so uh, there's like so much opportunity to make money in this update if you aren't trying to just like buy everything out and i mean this is way easier to buy items than it is for like back when you had to merchant everything because think of like merchant buying an auger rod that takes so much time cooking packed ice nowadays you just go over and you're like ah i want an auger rod let's just go to ice let's just go to enchanted ice and just buy a lot just buy it for a lot of coins and frankly it's a really nice system just because of that like 
all of these being able to just be quickly bought, it makes upgrading minions faster and a little more expensive. But honestly, things being a little more expensive is what Skyblock really needs right now. I was expecting them to have a merchant price increase or something, just because every single player has been accumulating money since basically October. If you haven't been doing Slayer, you haven't been spending that much money. So then you've just been like saving and everyone has a lot of coins right now and the bazaar is going to make some people a lot of coins and it's going to make some people lose a lot of coins if you're trying to buy stuff but i mean the fact that you can just go in here and buy mutton really quickly to make a pet or even like if you were trying to make a blaze pet now you can just literally buy every single blaze rod that you feel like now like you can just go in buy instantly and buy a stack like there is like two stacks of blaze rods up right now sure it's 47 million coins for it but it's instant compared to where you would have to bid on ah and then get probably outbid when you're going for them all of these changes are actually really beneficial for the skyblock economy because the average player will be able to get much richer and the rich players will also be able to get richer if they use the bazaar smartly. If you're just doing an item that everyone is selling, like if you're selling eggs or if you're selling chicken, you might not make as much profit, but sooner or later, everyone will have something that they specialize in. My co-op in the past has definitely done foraging a lot. We have a lot of spruce collected. We have over a million spruce as a co-op. We have 700,000 dark oak. There's so much wood that we have, so we can definitely just go and sell that, and it's going to be insane. And you just make so much money off this update. I The complaints about the NPC cap are pretty irrelevant to me, because basically the bazaar is just a middleman NPC between you and another player, and I don't see how that is harming the skyblock economy, because everyone is like, oh no, I can't buy stuff, this update is garbage. I fully disagree with that. I think that this update is actually a great change. Just because, like, look at this, you can just go buy enchanted golden carrots. You can upgrade minions so easily. You can craft things so easily. It's just a little bit more expensive, and it could take a tiny bit more time. But now, I mean, you aren't getting outbid, and you just get stuff really quickly. And I think that's the best thing about it. Like... Especially if you just want something and you need it fast, like for the event last night, you could just buy enchanted raw chicken just instantly, stacks on stacks. I sold 16 stacks within 5 seconds of the traveling zoo event yesterday. So yeah, I think that this update is a good change. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes overall because... The Bazaar is definitely going to be a very interesting change for Skyblock. It's a huge change of pace when it comes to buying items and just miscellaneous stuff, upgrading minions, all that jazz, and just making money in general because the Auction House is pretty dead right now when it comes to just normal blocks because you can make so much more off the Bazaar when you're selling on there. It's raised the prices of everything, and it's honestly what Skyblock needed. So if this video helped you understand the bazaar a little bit more and the benefits of it, I would really appreciate a sub. Maybe we can hit 14k this week. I don't know. We've been having some pretty sick growth. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Thank you to my members who are in the description. And that is going to be all for today. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.